What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. I was asked to do this piece. I was kind of debating whether or not to do it myself because I don't like to get into politics. But uh, politics and hockey come together. You got to kind of touch upon it. Uh, the fighting Sioux of North Dakota will be no more. Uh, this, there's a vote in North Dakota, and the, the citizens of North Dakota voted to uh, keep the, the nickname retired. And uh, you know, it's too bad. I think they got a restraining order this year to get the nickname, but I think it's too bad. Um, let me talk a few things about Native Americans and. Well, I in no way, shape, or form trying to offend anyone, especially Native Americans. But you know, I think that that nickname, that mantra, is a tribute more than it is a um, you know an insult. And I think that's the way to look at it. I think if Irish people can be so happy with the Fighting Irish in Notre Dame, you know, what's different with the Fighting Sioux? So I've never understood that. They, you know, they've had issues for the last five, six years. But as long as I've been alive and I've you know I've been a college hockey fan my whole life, you know, they've been the Fighting Sioux. So they've you know been that. Them in Minnesota have always been the bad guys, and you know you like to see them lose all the time, but. As a fan, you know that the the Indian head or the Native American head, whatever you want to call it, you know the Sioux, that's uh, one of the great uniforms, and not only all college hockey, but all hockey on the whole. And uh, you know to see it go away, it's gonna be tough. Uh, I remember to give you a little history lesson here. Four years ago, uh, I got to see North Dakota play four times in a year, which is unheard of. You know, actually three times in a year. Uh, twice at the Iceberg Tournament, once in the NTAs. Then I think I caught him the next year, too. So I got to see North Dakota play four times in two years, which uh, two, not too many kids from the East get to see. Um, and, you know, those jerseys are awesome. You know, yeah, four times in two years, trying to think about it. Uh, NCAA is two years. But, um, you know, it's just, it's tough. And I think if you want to get it in the, you know, use the Native American logos throughout sports, you know, why is, it, why is Florida State allowed to be the Seminoles? Uh, if you've been to a football game in Florida State, you know they they ride a horse out there and put a spear in the ground. I think that's more uh, insulting than anything. The I think that can be conceived as insulting more easily than anything the Sioux have ever done. And I think on that note, you know, look at the Washington Redskins. I mean that that's a that's a racial slur right there, Redskins. And I I, just, I don't think they intend. I mean, I don't, I don't think too many Washington Redskins fans are, are Native American haters, and I know they're one of the great old franchises in the NFL. But I mean, come on. You know where is it? Where's, where do you draw the line? And um, to prove a point, I would love to file a suit against the University of Notre Dame. You know, and keep on the Fighting Irish. You know, I'm a, you know, say you're offended by it and see what can happen. You know, I understand there's a lot of sensitivity towards Native Americans. Obviously, um, weren't treated great throughout history. But I mean, what's the sports team that honors them? I think the Fighting Sioux. Look at you know the great players that have worn that uniform. You know, Zach Parise, the John of the Taves, A.D. Eagle Belfour. You know, all these great players that have passed through there over the years. And you say to yourself, Jesus, you know, you, come on, Where, where's the line drawn? I think that's what you got to ask yourself. And uh, you know, they got to do something definitely. I, I can't imagine going through college hockey without the fighting Sioux there. You know, I don't know what Dakota would be. You know, it's it's rough, it's a rough deal. And as a college hockey fan, you know, I'd like to see the nickname stick. I really do. I don't think it's offensive towards anyone. Like I said, I think it honors the Native American culture in North Dakota, and I think it should be embraced, not you know, put out there. And I, I really think, you know. I wouldn't even have to stand. I actually am interested in filing that suit against Notre Dame. Uh, I hate Notre Dame with a passion, so uh, anyone else is down with me, let me know. But uh, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ on my thoughts on the University of North Dakota changing logos. You know, where, where have the politically correct police gone too far, as my good friend Jack uh, so eloquently put on Facebook. But uh, that's all I got, and I'll see everyone. Uh, stay tuned for more episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.